Waterhouse have conceded three goals in their last six contests while scoring 13 times. And this starting lineup looks very familiar from what we have seen in the last couple of games in the semis, Dwight Jeremiah. Yeah, they've, they've given them the result that they've wanted, so they've gone on change. Waterhouse, slick in going forward, really had a good display in the semi finals, and uh, they continue to play in their 4 3 3 system. Last time we saw early in the game, Mount Pleasant did give them a lot of trouble, but Bradford and Fletcher, though their leading goal scorer, did a lot of work in tracking back to shut those passing lanes wide, and they'll have to do some work here today. And Thomas, as well, expected to be a main antagonist for them today. Cavalier coming into this battle with a steeliness we don't often associate with the young. They haven't conceded a goal in their last four games, Dwight. Yeah, over 360 minutes since they've conceded a goal. And the one change we see to the side this then, Ronaldo Webster. Uh, we haven't seen him since his winning goal against Portmore. He's back today. We'll see how he plays uh, coming off an ankle injury. Uh, but he's needed for our finals here. And the big guns in terms of himself, Thomas and Atkinson, really looking for clubs try to get more youngsters in the program we'll get back to that discussion as we take a look at what took place in this game and the waterhouse they had a few chances and so too did cavalier who really bossed the possession in the first half and then the corner kick Inside to Jamoy Topi, rising highest. Nash should have done better there, Dwight. Most definitely, a coach. You expect him to get something onto that. Uh, you expect him to, to get a palm onto it or go over. Totally missed it, and that goal was on him. And Topi, from three yards or less, couldn't miss. And then the incident that quite possibly changed the game. Finlayson going into the referee's book initially for the challenge, and then he said something to the referee, and then after the yellow card would have received a straight red. Yeah, Nisha not hesitating to go to the back pocket there and brandish the red card and Finlayson for a player with the experience and the leader, very rich, disappointed and not acceptable. Ball played to Shanil Thomas who really should have hit the target there. Yeah, that's the chance I was talking about that he would have gotten and certainly should have hit the target. Irving sending this one long headed away, Webster was trying to get there and it was pretty much cleared off the line. Water was really defending their lines there. Yeah, they had to, they were down to 10 players and they were desperate. And then the penalty. Well, before the penalty, that shot on target, Jaden White had to pull off a fantastic save, then he had to tip that one over the bar. And uh, he was really into the thick of things here. And then the penalty coming off the arm of uh, Kamoy Simpson. Referee pointing to the spot. And this was a big pressure moment for Vince and Cooley rolling it and sending JD White the wrong way. Yep. That was the last kick of the game, you know. You just take a look at Ramon Howell who couldn't look on at the action, had to be looking away. It was so tight, right on the line. And the equalizer in stoppage time. As I said, the last kick of the game. They went through extra time without any goals. Then Vince couldn't repeat what he did in the 90. Yeah, he went to the, the, to the right of, of, of White, but not far away enough. And then Cavalier had the advantage for the majority of the penalty shootout. Right up until they didn't. Len could have won it for Cavalier, and he was denied by Zimoy Nash. That was a big save from Nash, but then White came up trumps and denied Kimani Campbell. Yep. yep. And so it was down to Jamar Purcell to win it for Cavalier. And he did. That was a convincing kick. Very convincing. That hit the roof of the net. And that was always it was impossible to save, you feel. So, as we take a look at the statistics in this one, Waterhouse with 12 shots, 4 on target. Cavalier with 7 shots, 3 on target. And, uh, wow, 33 fouls were committed in this one. 11 yellow cards were shown. Just the one red card to Nikolai Finlayson of Waterhouse. 10 corners to Waterhouse, 3 more than Cavalier, who had 49% of the possession. We're going now downstairs to George Davis with a presentation. 
Thank you, Donald. So we are here for the presentation, sir. Then you want to go off and celebrate with the rest of your teammates. But just take me through that final stage with that penalty where you thought you have won it. You've missed your teammate, missed one. That final penalty, take me through it. Well, we've been practicing penalties ever since we qualified for the playoff. And unfortunately, Leng is a person who we least expected to miss. So seeing him miss, we know that yo, it's nerves that kick in and then we say, yo, we have to do it, but I'm not okay, but I don't tell coach before the penalty starts, yo, coach, I'm too mad, you know. I'm too mad, get the two, I probably could get more. I'm grateful for you too, because the two make a winning game. Well, you, you kept your team in it for a long period of it. Well done. You can go off and celebrate with your team. It won't keep you much longer. Yeah, but all, well, a job well done. Yeah, thank you very much. Yes. So, Jadine White there, he really had an outstanding performance today. Really big performance from him. And in regular time, too, you felt if it were not for him, Waterhouse with 10 players would have gone on to win this one. Coach Gale disappointment again three years a charm they say not a charm for you today what about the effort from your team having gone down to 10 players i mean whoa we're just gonna express how overwhelming even though i'm on the, the wrong side of the scope but i mean i mean congrats to cavaliers i mean well tried water was thought we, we after the 10 i think we get ourselves back together you know what i mean uh, we make a few changes in terms of um um, tactically move, and I think it, it paid off for us, but unfortunately, in the final analysis with the penalties, I lost you. So, I mean, anything could have, could have won, but I think I'm the, one that, I'm the winner today, except unfortunately, you do, not, you do not get it go all the way. Well, coach, sorry about that, but just a little quick thing on the, the red card, put into context how that really, your thoughts on it. Um, it's, it's, it's rather difficult now to speak on it. I'm not really sure what happened. Uh, what took place, so uh, I'd have to go, go and ask the player and I uh, watch my team and say uh, what happened. Well, tough luck this time, coach. All the best next time. Yeah, man, thank you. Thank you very much. Coach Gale there just can't get his Waterhouse team over the line. Um, really a very good show his team put on and uh, contributed to it today. I heard you, coach, saying that you love to play Waterhouse. You didn't explain why then because he didn't want to give anything away. I'm not going to let you get away with it. Tell me why is it that you love to play this Waterhouse No, team? it's because the, our, their style and our style is, it complements our style of our play. As you notice, we had a lot of position in the first half because I knew they were going to stay in their half and try to get me to make a mistake. So we, we were composed and knew what we had to do. We had to do. And um, we know that we can play through their lines too because of the type of players they have. Vindication for you for persisting over the years with these young players. Speak to me about the maturity they have shown since going almost 450 odd minutes without conceding a goal. You've been known for your attacking play, but you showed a different resolve. Your maturity too as a coach. Talk to me about that. Oh, well, first I must say this win was for all the young players in the Premier League because for a long, long time, young players wasn't allowed to play in this league. Maybe a team would have one or two. So I persisted with it, got come third a couple of times. I figure people say, okay, yeah, yeah, good, good, you did well. But they didn't believe that the youths could win. So, but what I noticed with this particular team is that um, they could do a lot of different things. They could play attacking, they could play defensive, they could defend if they wanted to. And from I saw that, I realized that we had a very good chance to win. So what we did, as, as the goalkeeper was saying, once we hit the playoff, we said, you know something, it might go down to penalty kicks. And we'll make sure so we master penalty. Well, congrats, coach. <laughs> I, too, as a coach, love these young players, and my teams are like that, too. Congrats. Go off and celebrate with your team. Thank you very much. A job well done. Thank you.